Hey guys, it's Ashley here with Lion Brand, and I'm here to tell you today a little bit about the next step of projects for people that have had enough of just making scarves and afghans and want to move on to something like a garment, but aren't quite ready to take on shaping and other advanced techniques. So believe it or not, the shrug that I'm wearing right now is a rectangle. It's knitted in one piece and stock and end stitch and seamed up the sides just like this so that you can make a great shrug that's one size fits all, very comfortable, very personalized uh, with, without learning any advanced techniques. I'm going to show off four of our favorite rectangle shrug patterns and tell you where you can get the patterns and how you can customize it to be the perfect shrug for you. There are a ton of possibilities for rectangle shrugs. You can make it short or long, cropped or loose, casual or formal, lacy or bulky, all depending on what you're looking for, the size of your rectangle, your yarn choice, and the stitch that you've decided to use. You'll see with this harvest shrug that we've knitted a straight stockinette rectangle and added a ribbing pattern to the top and the bottom, which together, when seamed up the sides, create a great shawl collar neckline. It's a long, somewhat narrow rectangle, which has been folded in half uh, at the top and the bottom, to create a medium length shrug that falls relatively close to my shoulders but has plenty of arm room to keep me warm. One thing to keep in mind when designing your own shrug is that the length of your rectangle prior to being folded and seamed is going to affect the length of your shrug, so where it falls at your back, and the width of your shrug is going to affect how far past your shoulders it will go. A great example of this is the comparison between the Harvest Shrug, which I'm wearing, and the Bolero. This Bolero, uh, or a short cropped shrug, uh, is also a rectangle, believe it or not, um, but because it's so short, it's actually seamed across the bottom as opposed to up the sides. So it's seamed from the tip of sleeve to the underarm with a center part of, uh, of the tube-like construction. Uh, left open so that it can go across your back. In this case, as well as with the others, the width of the rectangle is going to affect the length of your sleeves. So the distance that we've done it here makes it about a half sleeve shrug. Uh, and you'll also note that this pattern is made with a lacy open work stitch. Um, and that's just great proof that just because it's a rec regular old rectangle doesn't mean that you have to stick to regular old stitches. If you'd like to stick to basic stitches, however, uh, you always have the option of letting the yarn speak for itself. This shrug using Silky Twist uh, is crocheted with just a simple double crochet stitch through the back loop, which is going to give you a great ribbed effect, um, and the yarn already makes its own statement. The same thing is going to go for a yarn like Tweed Stripes, which creates this beautiful striping effect on its own with just a simple stockinette stitch. The great thing about these shrugs is that there are many different ways that they can be worn. You can wear them loose and casual, or you can belt them or pin them with a shawl pin to keep them closed and give it a little bit more structure. You can find all four of these rectangular shrug patterns and many more on lionbrand.com.